guys, today is the Speed English Day. Easy as one, two, four. Let's go! If you are 18 or in your early 30s or you are already over 70, this video is for you. How do you call a person who watches a lot of TV and doesn't have an active life? A person in quarantine? Okay, but besides that, a mouse potato, a cheese potato, a couch potato, a chair potato. A cheese potato! I love cheese potatoes! Mm. Not really. A couch potato is a person slouching on the couch, st staring blankly at a television screen, watching TV series and reality shows until it gets all blurry. <laughs> is that you? No, definitely not me. We all pass through a period when we want to do absolutely nothing. Can you relate to this? Write in the comments. But if you sit too long, you look like a potato and will be just about as smart as one. A potato is a root vegetable, so as long as you don't grow actual roots into the couch, you should be okay. The truth is that slouching on your couch will only make you lazier. So the right time to get up is now. I am not a couch p -p potato. Good. Maybe you are a mouse potato. What? A mouse? <laughs> if a couch potato sits on a couch, a mouse potato sits on a mouse? Not exactly. A mouse potato is internet or computer addict. Are you a mouse potato? Who? Me? No, maybe a little. Really? Stop being a couch potato, a mouse potato. Turn off the TV, the computer, do something. We do not want a nation of couch and mouse potatoes, do we? No, we don't. Even if you are stuck at home, define your routine, exercise. Routine. Okay, maybe you are not a couch potato, but your life feels like a groundhog day. Ground what day? Groundhog what? is a large ground squirrel. It's a holiday celebrated on the 2nd of February, when a groundhog comes up from the ground and tells us the season. Ah! A squirrel tells us the season? This day marks the transition from winter to spring. Oh, okay. Your life seems stuck, boring, and fairly uneventful. You are in a rut. How do you know it? It's time to get up and start your familiar daily routine. For many of us, our day consists of basically the same things over and over. Depressing. It's depressing. Well, it's Groundhog Day. Again. You wake up with a sense of déjà vu. If you haven't seen the movie Groundhog Day, you should. It's a true classic. It's Groundhog Day! Groundhog time. A thousand people freezing their butts off waiting to worship a rat. Bill Murray's character is reliving the exact same day, Groundhog Day over and over and there is nothing he can do to change the fact that he has to wake up in the same place, see the same people, go through the same series of events and is powerless to stop it all. What did you do today? Oh, same old, same old. Does it sound familiar? Oh yeah. My life never changes. Every day it's a groundhog day. Eat, work, sleep. You can change it. Ask yourself. What would my perfect day be? It might be easier than you think to arrange it. Mm, I want to lose some weight and um, learn Russian. If you want it, recharge your batteries and go for it. Right now. Potato! No, no, no. I do not mean watching trashy shows in your native language. Leave your field, you, couch potato, and start running around your fringe. Right now? Want to be fitter and healthier? 
Act as if you already are. Exercise. Find a teacher, book a course. Go for it. You say go for it to encourage me. That's when this informal idiomatic phrase is used to encourage someone to increase their efforts to achieve or win something. It means to decide to do something, especially after a period of hesitation. If you are determined to learn Russian and lose weight, go for it. Want to be a musician? Go for it and study music. If you want to ask the girl out and you are not sure whether she likes you, the only way to check is to ask her. Go for it. Now, we need to take a quiz. Let's get this over with. Okay, but first let me explain the meaning of this phrase. To get something over with means to cause or experience the end of something, to finish something. For example, I wanted to get the interview over with as quickly as possible. But don't confuse this phrase with get over. It sounds kind of the same. No, to get over without with means to overcome. For example, get over your fear of height. It can also mean to recover from. Still trying to get over a bad cold. <laughs> Excuse me. The sooner we start the quiz, the sooner we'll get it over with. Fill in the blanks with get over and get over with. And remember, whatever happens, we'll get over it. When in doubt, do this. One, two, four. Thanks for upgrading your English with me. If you find this video helpful, like, share and subscribe. I've been Chushulka. You've been awesome. And see you in the next video. Bye. Well, it's Groundhog Day again. <laughs> Today is the Speed English Day. It is one, two. <laughs> one, two.